Welcome to Michael's Budget for the School Cafe. Michael is assistant manager of his school's cafe. It's the time of the year to make the annual budget, and Michael's boss, Mr. Jensen, has asked him to help prepare it. Michael is responsible for reporting on transportation, food supplies for the salad bar, meat and dairy stations, as well as dishware and flatware costs. Last year, too much money was spent on transportation. Mr. Jensen wants Michael to show how he can reduce the transportation budget. In addition, last year's food sales were very good, and Mr. Jensen wants to increase the food and dishware budgets to boost continued growth. Twice a week, Michael has to pick up food and dish supplies. He can reduce transportation costs by finding the shortest route to the three supply stores and determine the cost for gas during the 40 weeks the cafe is open each year. Here are the addresses for the three stores. Use Google Maps to find a route to the three stores that starts and ends at 5080 California Avenue. Use the gas cost of $2.59 per gallon with a car that averages 23 miles to the gallon in the city. How much does one trip cost? Two per week? And the total cost for the 40 weeks the cafe is open. Now last year's food budget was $157,000. Given the increase in business, Mr. Jensen wants to raise the food budget by 8%. How much will the new budget be? Hmm. Now, Michael needs to itemize it. Students always start their visit at the salad bar. Mr. Jensen wants Michael to allocate enough funds to buy attractive produce. 18% of the new budget will be allocated for the fruit, and 22% will be allocated for vegetables. How much money will Michael budget for each category? Meat and dairy products are the most costly, thus they have larger percentages than other categories. Mr. Jensen has asked Michael to allocate 28% of the budget for meat and 25% of the budget for dairy products. How much money will Michael budget for each category? And lastly, part of the cost of running a cafe is replacing dishes and flatware. Michael does not want to have to dig through the trash when students throw away cups or spoons. Based on past budgets, Mr. Jensen anticipates Michael will need to devote 7% of the budget to this category. How much money will Michael budget for this category? Now, I'm sure you're thinking, how is this anchored instruction? Well, you are presented with a problem that was situated, or anchored, in a real-life context and used storytelling to explain the problem. The problem was complex and broken down into steps. Unlike project-based learning, all the information needed to solve the problem was embedded within the story. Anchored instruction is not as open-ended as project-based learning. And lastly, the activity used multimedia to help tell the story. <laughs>